Hello, hello. Happy Sunday, everyone. If you're tuning in for the very first time, my name is Kim Dent. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator. I've been a demonstrator for 22 years. I live in Maryland Heights, Missouri, and I love teaching stampers and crafters how to make quick, easy, adorable greeting cards. So if you found me on my YouTube channel, please say hello. And if you have any questions, I, I usually um, answer or comment back pretty quickly. If you're watching live tonight, please say hello and thanks for tuning in. And if you're catching me on the replay, also um, leave a comment so that I know that you've watched. Facebook is a funny thing as well as YouTube where you can't really tell who's watching. But if you say hi to me or tell me maybe where you're from, then I know that you're um, enjoying the cards that I'm making and that helps me out. So hello, hello everyone. I saw Sally and Jill. Oh, I feel like Miss Lois from Romper Room. <laughs> Oh, who else do we have tonight? Let's see. I'm going to try to sync my laptop. I hope everyone has had a wonderful week or weekend. Hi, Joyce. Thanks for watching. I have two um, fun fold cards to share with you tonight. So, and they're easy. I always say if I can do it, if I can make a fun fold card, anybody can. Let's see. We're almost there. Please here. There we go. All right, Jill. Yay! You made it home from Wisconsin. Oh, oh, Sally. I don't know that I remember Miss Lois ever saying my name either. So hello, Sally. Uh, thanks for tuning in tonight. <laughs> Miss Lois was around for a long time, wasn't she? <laughs> Okay, I am going to, hi Kathy, thanks for tuning in. I'm going to flip my camera around because the fun folds, they take just a little bit longer to make. Oh, I do want to remind you, and I'll probably say it more than once, um, a big promotion with Stampin' Up! is going on right now. It's called Bonus Days. So from now till July 31st, for every $50 that you spend before shipping and tax, you're going to earn a $5 bonus coupon that you can use in the month of August. So if you're placing an order with me, I'll flip my camera around just a second to show you my website. Um, watch your totals because I would hate for you to miss it, you know, by a buck or two. So um, it's just another sweet way that Stampin' Up! likes to rewards likes to reward their demonstrators and customers. So hold on, I'm gonna flip flip us around. Oops, now you're looking at the ceiling. There you go. <laughs> there is my website. Um, this is the host code. If you are um, placing an order in the next couple weeks and your order is $149.99 or less, please use this code. It helps me out. Um, if you found me for the very first time, this is where you can place orders with me. You can find out more about me. Um, I hold classes every single month. I'm um, in the St. Louis area, but I have, I have, um, I have Stampin' Friends that they come from all over. I'm amazed sometimes how I, you know, stampers will travel um, an hour to come to one of my classes, sometimes more. So um, if you would, if you're in the St. Louis or Illinois area and you would like to uh, find out more about my classes, you can find out here um, on my website when I'm holding them. So, all right, here we go. This sweet card is the first one that I'm going to show you how to make. Isn't it fun? That's with the stamp set, this little turtle um, with that. I think that's Maraca, <laughs> I think, um, is from Zany Zoo. And then the um, DSP is from Bright and Beautiful. So isn't this a sweet card? Watch how it opens. Ta-da. Oh, I need to pull my camera up so you can see all of it. So it is an easy one to make. Oh. I don't know if my camera can go any. It doesn't. You know, just have to watch it in parts. Okay, so there you see there's the front. And then that part pops over there like that. It's just a fun, um, it's a fun fold. 
<laughs> and I'm gonna show you how easy it is to make it. Yay, Sally. I love fun folds too, especially when they're easy to make. And like I said, if I can do it, anybody can do it. So you'll need a piece of Parakeet Party. This is four and one fourth by 11. You need, this is what I use for the inside, four by four. It's for your inside. Um, you need, this is a piece of, there's that bright and beautiful DSP. It's four inch, four by four. And this, I've, I've used this a lot. Um, this is uh, the DSP that kind of coordinates with the um, beautiful balloons, but it's so fun and it's perfect and cheery. It's bright, perfect for birthdays and it's bright and cheery on half the sides. And the other side is more subdued. This looks like Lost Lagoon, like an ombre style. So four by four, and then another small piece, two and one fourth by four. Then you need a piece of three by three parakeet party and a piece of, I didn't put the, it's basic white. And this is, I use the stylish shape dies, the circle dies. So this is three by three. All right. Take a quick pick and then I'm gonna show you how easy this card is and how quick it comes together. Right, I'm gonna bring in my um, handy dandy Stampin' Up trimmer. Let's see, I can go a little bit taller. All right, and um, I'm gonna extend this arm out. That's one of the nice things about the Stampin' Up trimmer. Um, so the four and one fourth by 11 piece of Parakeet Party. I'm gonna put it in, and as you can see, if you're if you're new to Stampin' Up, on here, there is, down here at the bottom, there is, this is a scoring blade, and then this is my cutting blade. So I'm gonna take my, um, I'm gonna take the cardstock, and I'm gonna score it. I'm looking at the measurements right here, four and one fourth. So I'm gonna get that cutting blade out of the way. I'm just gonna go back and forth once or twice. And then the next measurement that I'm gonna score is eight and a half. So I'm all the way up here. How about that, ladies and gentlemen? <laughs> it's that easy. Okay, so the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bring back in my bright and beautiful um, DSP, the two and one fourth by four. Oh, and as you can see, I didn't even mention this. On this on the sample, do you see I have a different pattern? I thought this was really cute with the little turtle. But then when I decided to do a do this card for you, I thought this might be fun and festive too. So that's why you see a different pattern. Um, and it's and they're all from Bright and Beautiful. Bright and Beautiful. Okay, this is going to go on the top flap. And then this four by four is gonna go on the bottom flap. Hey mom, thanks for tuning in. I hope you like the cards. All right, so there I've got the top and the bottom and all I have to do now is move my trimmer out of the way. Ooh. And I'm gonna bring in my two and three eighths. This is a new circle punch, two and three eighths. And I'm just going to position it where I want my little circle to pop out. So I'm gonna take it, I think I've got it, let's see. Yeah, over here. Oh wait, yeah, is that right? Oh my goodness. Yeah. <laughs> Whoa. Okay, I'm gonna put it in and wait, I don't know if I'm doing this right. Here we go. I 
did. That's right. <laughs> yep, that's right. Oh, sorry, girls. I'm going to set that aside. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to bring in that 3x3 three three, um, piece of Parakeet Party. Hi, Mary. Hi, Denise. And I'm going to punch. Oop, get it in there all the way. Another circle out of that two and three eighths um, punch. And then what I need to do is on this bottom flap, this flap right here, I'm just going to glue the bottom half down, the bottom half of the circle down because we want it to slide up in there. Just like that. See how easy it is? All right, then um, I've already cut out with the three by three um, piece of white cardstock out of my stylish shape um, dies. And I love the dies. You've got squares, you've got circles, and you also have banners. You can find it in the annual catalog. I'm gonna bring in my Memento Black. And then, if you haven't seen this before, here's Zany Zoo. It's adorable, fun, quirky animals. You can see there's a cheetah and a tutu and a llama knitting. And then this croc riding a bike, the raccoon with um, balloons. This is a skunk with um, binoculars. And then the, the, the this one, this is a cute little stamp like some confetti and then some music notes and something great to celebrate you. You're too wonderful and happy birthday to you. I love, I, this I've used, um, this happy birthday to you, I've used so much. Hey Paula, thanks for tuning in. Um, and then this one is a popular, this is easy to use too, something great to celebrate in you. So happy birthday to you. I'm gonna use on the inside as well as the little, uh, the little raccoon, but for right now, I'm gonna bring in the funny little turtle and some music notes. Cute little music notes. And what I need to do is, hello, Valerie. Thanks for tuning in, you guys. I'm gonna make this fun fold for you, or I'm making it. <laughs> So I'm using Memento Black because we're gonna, I'm gonna color just really quickly with um, some Stampin' Blends. This is fun, isn't it? The stamp set, this is stamping is also a lot of fun. <laughs> but I love this funny little stamp set. Oh, let's see if I can get it. Mm. I'm gonna put a couple over here. <laughs> and all I need to do now is bring in, I've got a parakeet party, light and dark. And I used for the maraca, <laughs> um, Daffodil Delight Dark. I just grabbed a yellow because I thought it was cheery. And then Dark Pool Party. And I'm gonna show you how quick it is to color the sweet little turtle. I love brand new blends and these are brand new. <laughs> that point is always, um, it's nice when you get a brand new set of blends and the point is so nice and pointy. Makes it easy to color these tiny little lines. Does anyone else love coloring as much as I do? I could color, could color on all, all the cards I make. I love these blends and I'm not, uh, I'm not one, you know, I'm not particular about it. And I often say that I wish I would have taken more art classes um, in school, but I didn't. And, and um, I learned from a very wise demonstrator. She was like, don't worry about what it looks like. If you love doing this, then that's what it's all about. So ever since then, I just, 
I love coloring. I love coloring with these blends. I, I use, I pull out the Stampin' Write markers um, because I love the technique where you can use the marker and um, the Stampin' Write markers and you can use it on um, red rubber stamps. Yay, I'm glad Sally you love stamp or coloring too. Um, Oh, because you can't do that, that technique where you color on the um, the stamp, a red rubber stamp, you can't do that with alcohol markers. So you'll see that my, um, my stamp and write markers are behind me there. And if you've watched um, my videos before, you see the, um, the Stampin' Up ink and um, marker holders behind me. So I've got my stamp and write markers there and I'll always have them, but that I do enjoy um, using the blends more. So I'm just adding a little bit of pool party down here on the ground. So he's, it looks like he's grounded, he's not floating. And then I'm gonna take, oh, let's see, what? how did I, oh, I just put a little blue stripe in the middle of that maraca and colored the, well, hello, Miss Penny. Hi, Shirley, thank you. Um, yeah, the white circle, this white circle was cut out of the stylish shape dies. That's right, Jill. <gasps> Miss Penny, I'm making a turtle. <laughs> a turtle, a happy birthday turtle card. Isn't he cute? All right, all I have to do on uh, this is, for this fun fold, I'm gonna glue down my turtle in the center of this, and then carefully, ugh, pop it out, and I've already stamped your golden turtle. What is that from? Hi, oh, hello, Kelly. Um, I've colored this already for you, but I wanted you to know that I pulled out another set of new blends. I used um, this for the raccoon for his little um, bandit mask right there. That was um, uh, Smoky Slate, Light Smoky Slate. And then Pebble, 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 Pebble Path. I use the light pebble path for the outside and then for his belly and the tail, dark pebble path. So brand new set of blends, new color for us. And this goes down here. And then the only thing I need to do now is I'm gonna add some bling. So I've been using these and every time I pull them out, these are our four pack tinsel, tinsel gems. I guess about this. So this is lemon lime twist. This is berry burst. The blue ones, which you'll see, I'm using it on the other card. There's blue ones that are right here. They're blueberry bushel. And then these, which I've been saying, what color of green is that? These are pretty peacock. So I'm gonna pull in my take your pick tool and I'm gonna put three. So you always wanna use an odd number. Of um, embellishments, I didn't finish my sentence. Rick says that to me all the time. I can't finish your sentence. <laughs> oh. All right, there's that. And then the last thing I'm gonna do is they have, this is brand new ribbon. Um, it is with the Zany Zoo um, Suite. So you can see this is, I don't know, I guess this is Lemon Lime Twist. And then it's a it's called the Rib Ribbon Duo Combo Pack. And then this one is, I think, Petal Pink. Very pretty. So I thought when I was creating this card, like that's pretty cute, but I thought it needed something right here. So then I remembered that I had the ribbon combo duo pack and I was excited because I thought that just finishes it off right there. 
So, which one do you like best? <laughs> I think I like this one the best because there's more color in it, but isn't that fun? So, I want to thank um, Sharon Armstrong. I, I found uh, this pattern from her. She's a um, Texas, oh, let's see, I can't remember what she goes by, but I know she's in the Texan stamp, Texas stamper. I'm St. Louis stamper. I think she's Texas stamper. So there's that first card. Hope you liked it. Squiggly lines. Me too. Oh, thanks, Kathy. Thank you, thank you, girls. All right, here's the next one. There you go. This one, Sally, was inspired by the card that we made last week at the gathering of Saint Louis, or of Stampers. And what do we call this? Do we call this a barn door fold? Oh, thank you. Sally, do you know is there a name for this? So I made this last weekend and I love the pattern. I, I don't think I've ever made one like this before and it's another one that is so easy to make. This is with cheerful daisies and then this is the cane embossing folder and then fresh as a daisy DSP. I love the colors, that's pretty peacock, copper clay and then um, those are the 2023, 2024, um, I think they're called the enamel dots very pretty so i was inspired by this so thank you again sally sally was one of the coordinators for that event so that's how i got the idea for this card and i'm going to show you how easy it is to make so i'm going to bring back in my um you call it a, yeah barn door card that's what i call it i thought so barn door so um we're gonna bring in my stamp and trimmer again. Oh no, first we're gonna do the kit. The kit is a piece of Granny Apple Green. And this one, I tried to write, I'm not any good at uh, writing directions, but this is Granny Apple Green. As you can see, I'm not very good. <laughs> this is four and one fourth by 11, the card base. You're going to score it at five and a half, which I'm going to show you. And then we're going to rotate the card base and cut from the short edge to the five and a half inch score line, then rotate it again to the long edge and cut from the edge to two and a half. This, if I was like reading this or listening to this, it wouldn't, I probably would not make the card, but I'm going to show you and I'll show you more than once if you want me to how easy it is to do the barn door. So there's the first piece. Then you need a piece of Parakeet Party, four by five and one fourth. I was definitely in a green mood. So Penny, I got, I got turtles, I got a turtle for you and look at these lovely greens. So uh, this is Parakeet Party. This is a piece of, it's stuck to my little, this is the Gingham DSP. And actually that's the side I'm using. I originally was gonna use this side. And then I guess this is more, just checked. Check, Gingham D, but it's the Gingham DSP and I'll show you it in just a second. And then a piece of basic white. This is one and a half by five. That's for your inside. You need a piece of real red. Really, it doesn't need to be this big. This is kind of, um, uh, you know, more of a scrap piece. So real red, one and a half by five and one fourth. And this is for the ladybug wings. And then for the ladybug body, this is two and one fourth by four and one fourth. But again, this could be, you know, scraps or whatever would fit up in there for, um, for the punch. So parakeet party, this is one and a half by five and one fourth. And this is on the outside of the card. And then the last piece is a piece of Parakeet Party 3x3, three three, and this is for this leaf. And actually on this sample, I used uh, Granny Apple Green, and then after I made it, I thought, I'm gonna see what it looks like 
with stamping granny apple green onto parakeet party and I do like it better. So, all right, pull these to the side and I'm gonna show you how easy this one is to make. Oh, Dutch door full. Yeah, I have heard that. All right. I have heard the Dutch door. Okay, here we go. I've got extra paper here, paper here girls, in case I do these. Sometimes I do that. <laughs> uh, thanks. And I love ladybugs. And Mary Teal. Mary Teal, I know she's loved ladybugs, too, for a long time. All right, so we're going to... Um, I'm gonna pull this real close so you can see. I'm gonna put in my granny apple green card base. And the first thing I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna move it up to five and a half inches. And then I'm gonna score it. And then the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna rotate it. And I'm gonna move it up to what does it say? Oh, mm, let's see. Two and a, two and a half. And I'm gonna cut now. So I'm gonna move my trimming, my trimmer out of the way. And I'm gonna cut from this short edge all the way up to this score line. And the cool part about it, I'll tell you as soon as I do it, do it. On this score, or on this cutting blade, there is a line and all I have to do, like visually it helps me, I can watch, there's a little teeny line right there. I'm just gonna push that all the way up to my score line. Or I could also look at the measurement too, the five and a half mark. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna rotate it and I'm gonna cut out this piece right here. So on this one, I just have to cut from the, the five and a half line, that score line, all I have to do is line that up in my track. Does that make sense? This track. And I'm gonna use that guide again and push it all the way up. I can kind of feel it if I do it. Yep, there we go, ta-da. So this one we can use for another day. There we go. Does that look easy? Does any, does it, do you think you all can do it? I hope so. If you have questions, ask me because I'm more than happy to stop and go back and explain a little bit better if it doesn't make sense. Um, all right, so now I, all I have to do is bring in, this is Parakeet Party four by five and one fourth. down first and center it and then oh I want to show you this is the beautiful gingham um, DSP so there's blueberry bushel lemon lime pretty peacock um, that's berry burst and then that last color is pecan pie and if you flip it look at those cute patterns cute little checks. So, isn't that pretty? Oof, love that. All right, so I'm gonna bring in my piece, which, like I said before, originally I was gonna use this side, and then I decided I like these cute little checks better. It's gonna go centered in the middle of the parakeet party, at, centered at the top. And then the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bring in this is, I've already run this through, and I think I said it, but it's the cane embossing folder. Me too, Patty. I love gingham. This goes on the front, centered on that front panel. And then, oh, I'm going to show you. This is the name of this, this is the stamp set, Hello Ladybug. Um, there's the leaf, we're gonna use these flowers, and but the rest of the work uh, is gonna, well, we're gonna use the polka, uh, the ladybug spots, 
but the work is going to be done by this punch. So the ladybug punch, all I have to do with my basic black is, see I really could get probably uh, two ladybug bodies. <laughs> And then, so there's my little ladybug body. And then bring in my real red for the ladybug wings. Let's see, I think I did it like this. But like I said, this is really like scrap. Okay. And then I'm gonna bring Memento Black in because we're gonna put some spots, ladybug spots. bring in my Tombow two-way glue, multi-purpose glue, or it's not, sorry, it's not two-way, it's multi-purpose. And I'm just going to put a little bit on the back of the wings. Oh, I see a little bit squirting out. It'll dry clear though. <clears throat> I think my allergies are getting me, ladies. Does anybody else have trouble with that or have had trouble today with allergies? Ugh. All right, um, I've already cut out my stamped and cut out my leaf. Isn't that cute? And I'm just gonna position it. Let's see. I kind of liked it that it was like kind of half on and half off. So I just have to make sure that, I think I'm gonna use the Tombow glue again. Then I'm gonna glue it. Just a little dabble, do ya? Right about there. And then dimensionals for the ladybug. <laughs> so this, uh, the ladybug punch and the um, stamp set have been around for I think one or two catalogs. But so today I was trying to find something that would that would look cute and that I haven't used in a while. But um, so this is what came to mind, the little ladybug. I hope you like it. It's a cheery card. And then again, we're gonna bring in, there's a few, you can tell we love, I love these. There's a few of those blueberry bushel um, tinsel gems, but I'm gonna use again the um, lemon lime. Bring back in my um, take your pick and we're gonna decorate the leaf. We're almost done. The last thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to bring in, love this stamp set, the go-to greetings. Love, love, love it. Um, I love this, especially I call this like the cute font, the cutesy font. Um, this is more elegant. This is kind of in between, but it's, it's um, happy birthday, thinking of you, just a note, and thank you in three different fonts. This stays out on my stamp table all the time. So, happy birthday. Oop, almost forgot about the little flowers. And I'm gonna bring in this basic white piece, one and a half inches by five inches. I'm gonna move this out of the way. a happy birthday. And then 
the last thing I need is real red. I haven't used this in a while. It, um, but I have a bunch of, <laughs> but I'm like, where is my real red? It seems like I pull it out a lot at Christmas time. I'm going to stick this underneath because I'm going to stamp off. do on this side too. Didn't do that on the sample. There we go. And I'm going to close this up. My goodness, girls, we're going fast tonight. And there you go. Center it. There's a little space in between the check DSP and the white. So, which one is your favorite? Ladybugs or turtle? You're old at turtle. Thank you. Thanks, Jill. All right. Do we have any questions? Don't forget, I said it in the beginning, but don't forget about the bonus days. Um, if you're placing an order with me anytime soon, don't forget that if when you spend $50 before shipping and tax, that you um, that you earn a $5 bonus day coupon. And that can be redeemed in uh, August. So that's it. I think that's all I've got. Let me flip you around. There we go. Well, I think that's the fastest I've ever done a Facebook Live. And it was two fun folds. <laughs> oh, thank you, Sally. Thank you, thank you. Let's see, you love the turtle, thanks. Thank you, and Jan loves the ladybug. Well, I hope that you will try to recreate um, these two fun folds. Um, if you have any questions or you get stuck, please don't hesitate to reach out. If you're on YouTube, comment. I'll answer back really quickly. If you're watching this on the replay, um, I'm, I'm happy to, when you comment, I'm ans I answer back pretty quick. Um, and if you really need to know the answer, you can always um, give me a call if you've got my number. So um, thanks so much, everyone. Thank you for tuning in. Everyone have a wonderful week. God's blessings, and I'll see you next Sunday. Bye-bye.